Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup starter kit for beginners. So if you guys are someone who wants to just start your makeup collection or you want to expand it, then this video is for you. Even if you're not a beginner and you just want some bomb affordable products, then this video is also for you. I'm telling you guys, these products are amazing and you're going to love them. I basically have everything you will ever need to create anything from a soft, natural, everyday kind of glam to a full glam makeup look. I'm pretty sure whatever product you're missing, I have in today's video. So with that, I want you guys to stop what you're doing, subscribe before we begin. Also make sure you're clicking that bell. Don't worry, I will wait. Okay, now that we have that out the way, we can go ahead and get started with today's video. All right, you guys, I have so many different products to share with you all, and I'm super excited to dive in. But before we do, I want to let you guys know that I am a firm believer in the fact that you do not have to spend a lot of money to look good or feel good. Makeup is commonly used to, you know, like boost self-confidence. But just remember, with makeup, without makeup, you guys are beautiful in your own skin. So love who you are and just think of makeup as not a necessity, but an accessory. Okay, so with that being said, we are gonna start with the brows since that's typically what I do first in my makeup routine. Now for brows, I do have some products that I don't have on hand and I apologize for that, but I will pop a picture on the screen. But we are gonna start with the ColourPop Brow Boss Pencil. This right here is my like love. I recently started using this, I wanna say towards the end of last year and I fell in love with it, I was obsessed. I just really love a brow pencil that's like really, really thin and precise so I can get like precise on my brows and I don't have to worry about them being too thick. Um, I can actually make them really thin if I preferred. I just feel like with a thinner brow pencil, you have more control um, and with this one, you definitely do. I'd show you guys the pencil, but I did run out I have this sitting around just because I used the spoolie on it, which that's also another plus is the fact that the spoolie on this one is really, really good. Some spoolies on certain brow products are not the best. Uh, for instance, this spoolie by itself is just a spoolie. It's super soft and I really don't like that for my brows. My brows are a little tougher to deal with and handle, so I need something a little bit more rough. So that's what I like about this one. Another really great brow product that unfortunately I do not have on hand because I used it all and since I have so many other brow products that I'm kind of working with at the moment, I didn't feel the need to repurchase right away, is the L'Oreal Stylus Brow Definer. It's definitely a dupe for the ABH Brow Wiz, but obviously at a more lower and affordable price point, but it works similar and to me I feel like it's a spot on dupe for it. Honestly, there's a lot of dupes for the ABH Brow Wiz, but that is definitely one of them. And again, if you're into that thin pencil, um, I feel like it's the most beginner friendly when it comes to doing your brows. I would suggest picking that one up if you don't pick up the ColourPop one, but again, just a second option. And no worries, if you're someone who likes to use pomade instead of pencil, or you like to use the two in combination with each other, then my recommendation for a pomade is not one that I use anymore, but it's one I used to use a long time ago, and I still feel like it's a good product, and it's the NYX Tame and Frame. Uh, I believe that's what it's called, it's NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. And that is a dupe for the ABH Pomade, which I do currently have and use on an everyday basis. So if you guys are more into pomade, I would go with that. Pencil, obviously the other two choices that I gave you guys. So now we're gonna go to the eyes, and before we get to eyeshadow, we gotta talk about primer. So you guys should know, those of you who have been subscribed for a while, or if you've seen any of my previous videos, you guys know that I am very consistent when it comes to priming my lids using my concealer, specifically the NARS Soft uh, Matte Concealer, I believe that's what it's called. Used it so long and I still can't remember, but the one in the pot, which kind of reminds me of the MAC Pink Pot, but it doesn't work the same, if that makes sense. Some people are kind of like resistant to using 
concealer for their shadow just because they don't feel like it makes their eyeshadow pop and that can be the case depending on the eyeshadow that you're using and the technique and all of that so aside from that um, the one recommendation that I would probably give is the new Revolution Pro Eye Elements um, eyeshadow base I have not specifically tried that on my lids or anything but I've seen a lot of reviews on it I've seen a lot of great youtubers whose opinion uh, I trust uh, talk about it so that's why I'm kind of bringing it up in this video if you guys want me to test that product out and want me to go and buy it then just leave a comment down below and I will do so but I didn't want to go through the video without giving at least one suggestion for an eyeshadow base I will say I've tried the NYX one and I'm not really crazy about it uh, so if anything that is honestly the only primer that I would suggest so after priming the lids of course sometimes you guys see me put these on these are elf eye tapes and I like to use these for two different things either a to help me with my wing liner which we'll get to in a minute or B just to create that clean crisp line of shadow especially if I want to like drag my shadow out which I didn't today but on days that I do I would pull this out and what's great about this is the fact that one it only costs between two to three dollars and I believe you can find it anywhere else is sold I did purchase mine from Target and two I like to cut them in half so you get more for your money so these are really really good if you're looking for like just eye tapes to have just to clean up your eyeshadow or help you with wing liner if you struggle in that department. Whether you're on a budget or you want really good eyeshadows, my first suggestion or recommendation would be Profusion. Profusion I feel like is a really, really underrated brand at the drugstore, but I feel like they have some of the best eyeshadows uh, that the drugstore has to offer as far as color, variety, and just basically what you get for the price. Now the packaging I will say is obviously a little cheap, but honestly it's not about what the packaging looks like to me, it's about how the eyeshadows perform and what's inside basically is what matters most. So. Profusion would definitely be my number one choice. This brand right here can be found at Walmart or Target. I know that sometimes it can be hit or miss. For me, I mostly get my Profusion products at Target because that's where I find the majority of them. But if you can't find them at your Walmart or Target, you can definitely check online because they'll definitely have it there. But this, again, number one recommendation. ColourPop is also another brand I wanted to kind of shout out in today's video because they really do be having some bomb products and palettes uh, when it comes to eyeshadows and anything else in general honestly for a while there it seemed like they were like launching something every freaking week and they just have so many great palettes to choose from it's kind of hard to keep up sometimes but two of my favorites the California Love palette which is a very warm tone palette we're stepping into like springtime and stuff and this is definitely appropriate for that time also the nude mood palette which you guys see me review on my channel that I'm definitely obsessed with this one is a really good palette as well I feel like Colourpop has really good formulas uh, their shadows are definitely pigmented there are some that work better than others but I feel like that's with any drugstore brand uh, but at the end of the day what you get is worth the money that you spend for it. Real briefly, I just want to touch on a couple of eye tools. I do want to say that Profusion does have a really great blending brush that I love to use. And I believe I've used it in the past two videos. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you guys can check those videos out. Also Morphe, we all know Morphe. Um, I love them for eyeshadows as well, even though I didn't specifically mention them but uh, their brushes especially I do have a lot of Morphe brushes I have some other ones here and there like random brushes here and there but for the most part um, Morphe is like where I get my brushes from finishing up the eyes we're gonna talk about liner so we have the liner on the lids to like wing it out and all that good stuff there's two different ones that I have here the one that's my ultimate favorite is this Makeup Revolution London liner that's all it says it's no specific name and I believe I paid like eight dollars at Ulta for it and I just really really love this it's more of like a liquid liner obviously and it has like that felt tip and I really really like it it's super thin helps me get really precise if I want to create like a really thin line it's not super thick and it doesn't like run I will say this liner does not 
like dry down completely matte it's more of like a satin matte finish but it's still a really really good liner all you really have to do is just take a little bit of black eyeshadow tap it on top and you got yourself a matte liner now if you don't want to do all of that or you don't like felt tips i do have this maybelline new york eye studio this is their um, blackest black gel liner and obviously you would use a brush for this so this one is super black super matte and obviously glides on nicely and it stays put all day so this is also another really good liner when it comes to lining my waterline my ultimate favorite is the la girl perfect precision lip liner i say this every single time it's a lip liner yes but i use it as an eyeliner this is in the shade nude and it's super light definitely too pale for my lips so i use it for my eyes and to me it's like the next best thing next to using white using a really harsh white liner in your waterline used to be a thing a long time ago but this is more natural still brightens your eyes and just brings the look really together and i really really love it i also like physicians formulas liners i have two here a purple one and a gold one and these also bring a nice touch of color to the eyes and the same thing with the pixie endless silky liners as well so finishing off the eyes with mascara and lashes let's first talk about some mascaras now surprisingly i looked at all of these and i realized they're all l'oreal i will say that maybelline does have uh, really good mascaras that i do enjoy as well as ColourPop but these are the ones i decided to share with you all in today's video the first one is the voluminous lash paradise mascara this one is a dupe for the Too faced better than sex which is my ultimate favorite when it comes to high-end makeup so i really do enjoy this one and then some old school staples i have the voluminous carbon black and the telescopic carbon black telescopic i love for my bottom lashes and of course this one right here i use for my top lashes and then a newly discovered product last year which is the unlimited mascara from l'oreal as well i love the fact that you can like tilt the wand and you get more volume with the mascara that way if i had to recommend two mascaras it would probably be the voluminous lash paradise and the unlimited mascara for the top lashes just because i feel like out of all four of these these two are the ones that create the most value so finally wrapping up the eyes with lashes my ultimate favorite brand at the drugstore is kiss lashes these are just one of the pairs that i own but i feel like kiss has so many different lashes available they have a huge variety and they are super super affordable so definitely go get you some kiss lashes this is my number one choice i also have here two other ones ColourPop came out with a few different lash styles and i really did enjoy using these ones right here which are in the style minx i'm pretty sure that's what they're called but minx by ColourPop, and they also have like two or three other ones and then i also want to mention uh, Marshalls and TJ Maxx because you can get high-end products first of all for cheap there but also their lashes these are the pro beauty essentials in 3d faux mink and these ones are really really gorgeous and I do love these but I find a lot of amazing lashes at those places like TJ Maxx and Marshalls that you don't typically see in your normal drugstore so i just kind of wanted to put that in there as well so we've done the brows we've done the eyes we've put on the lashes now it's time for the base makeup now before you put on your primer of course you want to make sure that you're cleaning your face doing your skincare routine putting on moisturizer and do not forget that spf but we're going to jump right into primer and the first one is the elf poreless putty primer now this is the original I have yet to try the matte version or the dewy version but i really really do like using this one now you guys all know that this is a dupe for the tatcha silk canvas primer which is much 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 more expensive and the only difference between the two is that the tatcha has the skincare benefits and this one doesn't but if you have a really good skincare routine then the skincare benefits within the tatcha primer really doesn't matter don't be afraid to dig into this and use it i again just kind of use it like in my t-zone area uh, for my pores and all of that and then on the rest of my face um, i've really been loving elf's jelly pop primer this is their dew primer now before i had super oily skin 
now it's kind of between being oily and dry so more of like combination that's kind of like how I like to classify my skin is combination skin but it's been a little bit more drier than normal just because of my acne medication but this one is a really really good one and also a dupe for the milk makeup milk makeup if I can talk hydro grip primer which I do love a lot and use quite a bit I started off with the trial size and upgraded to the regular version or size of that product but this one is definitely a dupe for that and you guys this makes your makeup stay in place all day I love the tackiness it allows the foundation to grip better to your face and your skin and it just lays everything down nicer in my opinion so you guys should know me by now I do not like to move on to foundation without setting my primers so my number one powder for this and the only powder I probably will use and continue to use is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder. I have two different ones. I have medium and I have light medium. So these two right here are such great powders. Uh, the light medium over here I like to use now. It's more like with my complexion now. And then the medium one right here I would use more so when like I'm tan. And now that we're going into the warmer months, I'm probably going to have to switch the two so you can see that they do have a variation in color. You can also use any kind of translucent powder if you prefer, but we'll get more into that when we get to setting our concealer. But first, let's jump into foundations. So I have about four different foundation recommendations for all of you. And my number one choice would have to be, it's really hard to decide honestly, because it just depends on what it is that I'm going for that day, whether I want a dewy look, a natural look, or a matte look, like it just all depends. So let's, maybe let's not put it in order of what my favorite is. So we're just gonna start with the first one in my hand and this is the Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation from Maybelline. This right here is really amazing, super full coverage. I am obsessed with this foundation and I could not wait for it to be winter and for my tan to be gone for me to use this. This is in the shade 312 Golden Dore, just in case any of you guys are wondering. But this is a really nice full coverage concealer that definitely lasts all day. Your oils do start to peek through, but honestly, uh, if you set your face correctly and use the appropriate primers, then you won't have anything to worry about. Next, I have the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. This right here is a matte full coverage foundation and I really do love it. Obviously for the days I want more of like that matte look, this will be my go-to foundation. Unfortunately, this is more suitable for me, like shade wise in the summertime and when the sun's out and I have like a nice tan going on. This is in the shade Warm Honey and this is definitely an OG favorite. This Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, this is actually the original version. They just recently launched the Dewy version which I would love to try, but I discovered this, I think last year sometime when I did a full face of Wet n Wild, and I really did love the coverage on this. It gave nice coverage without looking too cakey or anything like that, and it just looks really natural and just beautiful on the skin, and I really do love it. Mine is in the shade Caramel, and this is also a really nice foundation. This does have a smell to it, but the smell does not last whatsoever. Um, but it does go on pretty smooth and it makes your skin look smooth and soft But like I said at the end of the day, it's about how you're prepping and preparing your skin uh, That matters most because that's what's gonna affect the foundation application And for the final foundation in this foursome is the NYX Professionals Makeup Born to Glow foundation And mine is in the shade Golden. I really 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 love this foundation. It's really natural on the skin super lightweight and it honestly reminds me of the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation, which I'm super obsessed with. So if you want more of like a natural look, I would suggest getting this. So I gave four foundation recommendations and I feel like it's only right that I give four concealer recommendations. The first concealer is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear. This right here obviously is kind of like a dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape. It's super full coverage and I really do like it. It's a little bit more hydrating than the Tarte one. So that's also a plus about this. And this is in the shade, I don't know what shade it is. Oh, Amber 385. 
So that's this one. Next we have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and this is actually what I used on my eyes today. I really do enjoy this concealer. I don't I know I don't use it like too much on camera, but this is a really great concealer. It's also another dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape, which I feel like a lot of people have tried to dupe that concealer, which I'm not mad about because if you can get, you know, something that's high quality like as far as like the way the product works for a cheaper price point, then why not? So this is also a really good one, super full coverage. It does dry down a lot more matte than the L'Oreal one, but as you guys can see, like I really don't mind it. And then two other concealers that I wanna to touch on briefly is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I really didn't think much of this when I first got it, um, but then once I used it, I really did like it. It's not a super full coverage concealer. It's more of like that natural finish almost, but it's definitely buildable and it's creamy underneath the eyes. And this one is in the shade medium dark 32. So that's this one. And finally we have Juvia's Place Concealer and this is in the shade number 16. This right here blew me away when I first ever used it. It's phenomenal. The coverage is just like no other, honestly. And it blends out super, super easy. Again, all affordable concealers for great prices and that work really, really well. It just depends on what you're looking for. Are you looking for full coverage or are you looking for minimal coverage? It's all up to you. Now, when it comes to setting everything in place, setting the concealers down, there are two drugstore powders that I can truly recommend outside of the OG Airspun uh, loose setting powder that you can find at like Walmart. The first one is this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Powder. You guys know that when I discovered this, when I, again, I tried that full face of Wet n Wild, I was obsessed with it. It does give that like blurry focus to your skin and I absolutely love this powder. I was obsessed with it for a very, very long time, using it nonstop back to back, but I've tried to put this powder down a little more nowadays. That way I can kind of mix things up for you. But if I were to recommend any powder, out of the two that I'm gonna be talking about today, this one definitely will be the one just because it is translucent and universal for everyone. The second powder that I have is the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. This right here is also a really, really nice powder that I have been enjoying. It is super soft on the skin and it does kind of give like that airbrushed finished look, which is really nice and it just smooths everything out and you kind of look like you're walking around with like that filter on your face. Now, unfortunately, the only thing about this powder is that it doesn't come in like a universal shade, like translucent. So you kind of have to decide, do you want light? Do you want medium? You know, so on and so forth. I'm not sure how many different like shades they have, but the one I do have is light, which is a little light. Maybe I'll try to get the medium one just because I want it to be a little bit more seamless and not so brightening. Uh, this is perfect with my brightening concealers because it is a little bit more of a lighter powder, but the formula of it is like super soft and very finely milled and I really, really do like it. Okay guys, we are almost done, I promise. We just got a few more products to get through and that's it. So now we're gonna move on to bronzer, blush, and highlight, kind of the three in one because the recommendations that I have are like palettes that have everything in it. Starting with the most recent product that I fell in love with and I have to recommend it because if you guys can get your hands on this, you really need to. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Collection right here. Now, first of all, Physician's Formula has some of the best bronzers as far as their butter collection goes. And when it comes to this palette in combination with Whaley, you guys, this palette has been phenomenal. I used it again today because I'm just super obsessed with it. I really, really love this bronzer shade down here in the shade Sunset Bronzer. And they also have a deep bronzer, but the, honestly, the deep bronzer looks lighter than this one. So that's kind of weird. And then these four pans right here, blush and highlight, are limited edition, but they're super gorgeous. I did use this highlight today, which is Golden Hour, and I only used Apricot which is this blush shade right here on my cheeks. And it's just really beautiful and pretty. And as a beginner, you probably just wanna go for something that's compact like this. And that kind of has three in one versus individual products. It'll also save you money in the long run as well. So that's number one recommendation. 
I told you guys Profusion is underrated, but they also have the Sculpt and Glow palette, which is this right here. I've used this before on my channel as well. And again, just beautiful and nice shades. You have your bronzer over here, your blush and your highlights. Um, so, and it even has like inner corner brow bone lightning, like it says lightning, but uh, this right here, this like opaque white kind of shimmer shade is really nice to like pop in your inner corners, highlight your brow bone, whatever you wanna do. Before I finish off with my lips, I like to top off my brows and kind of finish them off. And I like to use the e.l.f. Wow Brow. This right here keeps your brow hairs in place. They are not budging, they are not moving. However you stroke your brows with this is how they will stay. And I really, really love the brush, the applicator, and the formula of it. It's a really good and affordable product. And if you're looking for a good brow gel, you can definitely pick this one up. It is tinted, it does have color. I don't know if I said or not, but this is in the shade Deep Brown. I'm not sure if they, ha I'm, well actually I think e.l.f. does have like a clear brow gel, but it's not with this same formula, if that makes sense. And it kind of seems like this one has like little like faux hairs in it or something. I don't know, but it's really good. So if you're looking for a brow product to just set those brow hairs in place, that's the one to get. Now finally for the lips, you guys know I love my nudes. I first wanna start off by saying that you can find tons and tons of lip products, shades, colors, variations by just going to Ulta and shopping within the NYX section. NYX has an unbeatable range of liquid lipsticks, li uh, regular lipsticks, lip liners, like they have it all. So that would be my top recommendation. I just have so many and they just have so much to choose from. So I feel like if you needed a place to start, that would be the best place. However, as far as the products that I actually picked to show you in today's video, starting with lip liners, the ColourPop lippy pencils are really, really nice. At first, when I first bought this and after using it for a while, it does like get a little dull. And I was thinking to myself, how do you sharpen this? But it's just like any other pencil, you just use a pencil sharpener for your lipstick pencils, of course, and it sharpened it just perfectly. This one is in the shade BFF, I believe. Yes, this is in BFF and it's just like a nice mauve pink neutral tone lip liner, if you get me. I also have this LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner in the shade Cafe. You guys know I love nude for my waterline, but this one I do like for my lips. This is more of a nude brown. It was really hard for me to find a brown liner that I actually really liked that was suitable to my skin tone, and LA Girl did the trick. It is a pencil liner, but they are super creamy and soft, just like the ColourPop ones, and just like this next one that I'm about to tell you about. So this is the NYX Makeup Professionals Slide On, Glide On, Stay On, and definitely a Turn On Waterproof Extreme Color Lip Liner. And this one is in the shade Sugar Glass, these lip liners by NYX are like some of my favorite, honestly. I really love this shade of nude. Oh, let me kind of show you guys. This is probably more so on like the net lighter nude side, but this is a really, really nice nude, nudish brown kind of color. And I really do love it. This pencil right here just blew me away when I first ever used it and I definitely have to purchase more shades and another one of this just as a backup just because I really, really do love this shade that I picked up. So for lip products, I have a gloss, I have a matte liquid lip, and I have a regular lipstick. For regular lipstick, I have Maybelline Nude Embrace in the shade 650. This has been like my all-time favorite and honestly, it's very similar to that lip liner that I just showed you guys. This one is just like the perfect nude for me and I really, really do like it and I'm obsessed with it. It has more of like that pinky undertone, but it's super pretty and I really do like it. Now, of course, lipsticks don't stay on as long as other lip products, but from time to time, I do like to put me on a lipstick. When it comes to the liquid matte lipstick, my choice is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in Less Chocolate, 
which is super pretty, super nude. And I really do love not only the way this smells because it smells like chocolate. Honestly, it reminds me of like Too Faced products, but maybe a little bit more scented than that. So if you love chocolate or the scent of chocolate, you'll love this. Um, it goes on the lips very smoothly, really nicely. It's something that doesn't need like two coats. All you need is one layer and you've got what you need. And it's just a nice soft nude. So it's this one right here. And then finally for our gloss, I did honestly have two I wanted to show you guys. The first one being either from Contribuce or Essence. I believe it's from Essence, the brand. And how convenient, it's my name, but it's not my brand. And I really do love it because it's not sticky, it's not tacky, it's the perfect lip topper and it's just so amazing. If I can find it, I'll obviously put a picture of it on the screen, um, but Aside from that one, Ulta has a really nice juice infused lip oil that I do like to use. This one is in Sweet Rose um, and it just looks like this. Obviously mine isn't as clear anymore just because I use it on top of like lipsticks and you know other things but this one's also really nice, goes on smoothly, not tacky or sticky and it feels very very comfortable on your lips. So. This one or the Essence one that I can't find. Either one of them are great products. All right, you guys, so I feel like that was a lot of products to get through, but we made it, we survived it, we're here. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I really hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I will also be listing all the products I mentioned in today's video down below in the description. So make sure you guys go ahead and check that out, especially if you're looking to purchase any or all of the products mentioned in today's video. They'll be listed down there, that way you guys know the exact name of everything talked about. Also, while you're at it, make sure you guys comment down below and let me know some, if not all, of your Holy Grail drugstore products, that way we can kind of help each other out, you know, help each other grow and look good on a budget. And with that, we are gonna close out today's video. I love you guys so much. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys super, super soon in the next video or vlog whichever one comes first.